Hi there, my name is Christian Leonardi and I'm here to introduce you TrackFinger AE. TrackFinger AE is a very simple yet powerful app that does essentially one thing, but it does it very, very well. It allows you to record the movements of up to 10 fingers on the screen of the iPad and then send the tracking data as keyframes to Adobe After Effects to animate the contents of the screen. TrackFinger AE sends the tracking data via email. For each tracked finger, TrackFinger AE creates a text file sent as an email attachment. The first time you open TrackFinger AE, you'll find the projects page, initially empty. We recommend you to create one project for each new day of shooting, because TrackFinger AE does not easily handle projects with more than 100 tracks each. The projects were designed to be able to manage efficiently different shooting days for different projects. Suppose, for example, having to shoot today the scenes of a TV commercial for Project Beautiful Product. All we must do is create a new project by tapping New Project. In the screen that appears, you just have to set the name of the project, in our case, Beautiful Product TVC. We are ready to get started. Tap a new track in the upper right corner of the page, the slate board page appears. By default, the name of the production is the one of the project, but you can also change it. To change the name of the production, simply tap on it. You will see a field entry that allows you to enter the name of the production, then press OK to confirm. By tapping with a finger, you can change all parameters of the slate, and to get even faster, the parameters roll, sound, scene and take are modifiable with gestures. For example, to increase the number of the take by one, just swipe up. Vice versa, swiping down with the finger, the number decreases by one. You can swipe to right and to left to add a letter to the value. Likewise, we can change the settings for day and night by tapping on it. You will see another message that allows you to choose, with a simple touch, the new setting. Once the slate settings are done, you can start shooting. TrackFinger AE initially behaves like any other clapperboard app. Once the camera rolls and the director gave order to clap, face the screen of the iPad to the camera and then tap the upper right area. You will see a white flash, hear a clap sound and the display immediately turns green. The moment the screen flashes, TrackFinger AE will begin to record all the movements on the display surface. You will use the white flash for sync purposes. At this point you can move your fingers just as you are interacting with any app, game or website. TrackFinger AE records every movement for each finger, up to 10. Once the recording is complete, tap the lower left corner of the display. This operation will end the recording and automatically save the tracking data. This message will appear, showing the name that will be given to the attached file and asking for short rating. Once you have selected the rating, you may choose to immediately send the data by email or to wait. For now, choose to send it later. At this point, TrackFinger AE brings us back in the Slateboard page, so that we can immediately go on with the shooting without loss of time, updating the settings of the slate itself accordingly to the shot. Once the shooting session is done, tap the back button to go to the Tracks Management page. In this page, you will see the tracks that have been shot, including date and time of capture and rating. By tapping on one track, on the right side, you will see its characteristics and related metadata. In order to use the fingers tracking data, you must first specify at least one email address to which your emails will be sent to with the data. By tapping on Setup, enter name, surname and email address. If you specify both accounts, each email will be sent simultaneously to both addresses, which could be useful if the work of post-production is distributed among several people or just for redundancy. Note, 
The email address is not stored on the servers of trackfinger.com. For more details on privacy, click here or go to trackfinger.com slash legal. At this point, selecting a track and tapping on send email, an email will be sent to the address specified in the account page. If you tap on send all, an email will be sent for all the tracks. This is an email sent by Trackfinger E. The subject carries the date and time of capture of the track, while in the body of the email, there are all the information of the slate board at the moment of the recording, such as role, scene and take. Attached to the email, there are one or more text files, each of which contains the tracking data of a finger. Open the text file and select the entire content of the text file and copy it. Then switch to Adobe After Effects and create a new comp with resolution 1024 by 768. This is the base resolution of an iPad. This comp must have these characteristics, 60 frames per second and duration equal or greater than the track one. Create a null object and then, after selecting it, paste the data. Trackfinger A generates both position and opacity keyframes. Each position keyframe precisely indicates the position of the finger on the display of the iPad. Opacity is used instead to indicate when the finger was actually touching the display. Opacity to 100% indicates that the finger was in contact with the surface, while 0% means that the finger was not touching the monitor. Using both of these parameters, you can create complex animations and perfect interface responses to user comments, but all this is explained in more detail in the tutorial section of the website trackfinger.com.